Okay, so let's take a look at patterns in Illustrator CS6. Here goes. So where are our patterns? We come on in to our, these are the ones that come with Illustrator CS6. And again, we can just like with symbols, we can create our own. Symbols and patterns in a way are, are very similar, but different. Again, then they're used differently. And I think just the word symbol, why would you use, why would you use a symbol over a pattern? make sense to you because you know what these different words mean. So here goes. So we come on in and we come to the default swatches and let's just, um, I'm sorry, the default patterns, the patterns, and let's stick with just basic graphics. Let's keep, keep it simple. Um, so if I was to click onto this and I load it, I can see it right in here. It loads right into my fill. I'm going to grab this tool right here. I can click, and there I have my, um, my, my pattern drawn right in. Um, so now let's say that I want to change this pattern around and I want to make a new pattern. I want to actually add some color to this. Let's zoom in just a tiny bit. Actually, you know what? Let's not zoom in because we're going to zoom in in a minute. There is a window in Illustrator CS6, which is titled Patterns Option. So I can click onto this and open this up. And when I, if I wanted to edit my pattern, I would just double click it and I'm in editing mode. So I can zoom on in and I can see that this is actually how this pattern is being created. I can come on in, I can click, and we can see these different little pieces in here. Now, if I wanted to select one of the colors, what I would do is I would need to get my white arrow, click off, click on, I can select one. Um, and if I wanted to change the color, click OK. If I wanted to change the color, let's change them all up. Click OK. Let's change another one. Let's go for it. Let's change yet another one. Okay, now what I would do is I would say save a copy and I could, you know, dot color polka dots and I could say okay. And what it's saying to me is that this pattern is going to be added to my swatches panel. I hit okay and then I could hit done and I could come on in and see how this has changed. All right, now it looks like as I was going through this, I must have had um, I must have had some kind of stroke on my line, which is creating this line inside of here. So I could go in and edit it again if I wanted to. But if I come on into my swatches panel, I'm going to see that I have this new image right here. So if I was to come on in, this is the one that was just created. This is the pattern that was just created. And again, I could come on in back into the, the swatches um, editing right in here and figure out why that line is there. And again, I'd come back into patterns options. Let's just double check and see. Let's edit it. All right, let's, it looks like, actually there's no, um, no fill on that. I'm not 100% sure why. I'll take a look at it in a minute. All right, let's keep moving forward. Um, and uh, see what else we have um, and how else we can we can work with these patterns. All right, so here goes. Let's take a look at another pattern, how we can change it. So the way that we just did it, when we go into the pattern options, we actually can create it and, um, <clears throat> you know, use it again and again and edit the ones that are there. What about if we wanted to have our own pattern. How would we go about doing that? Well, first thing I want to do is kind of get out of here. Let's actually just get a fill color. Okay. And let's actually just very, very simply, I am going to draw with my shapes a little design. Okay. Um, so I'm going to hit pause, draw a little design, then I'll show you how to make it into a pattern. So let's say that, you know, we come up, we put together some kind of little pattern. We can do it. There's a lot of different um, ways that we can do this. And as we get more familiar with working with gradients and the pencil, you'll find that, um, you know, there's a lot of different things that you can do. 
Well, again, the first thing that you need to do once you have this all drawn, what you can see is I have these shapes that I had grouped um, then I copied and pasted them. But whatever you want to be your pattern, the first step is to group the, the pattern. So I'm going to come on in here and I'm going to select all of these. I can draw a box around them. I know they're all selected. Now, what else I could do is I could have shift clicked it. Shift, shift, shift and click. Shift and click. And then object and I would group this. And now it is a group. All right, so now the next thing that I want to do in order to turn this into a pattern is I could take this shape right here, I could drag it, and I could drop it right into my fill. Okay, I've dragged it, I've dropped it into the fill, um, and now what I want to do is save this as a swatch. Blue dots, okay, um, and now let's try it. I'm going to delete delete this right here, and let's try and see what happens. I can see it right down in here, right? So when I click, I can see how my swatch, these are other ones that I had. There's that one. So when we drag it and draw it, we can see that here it is. Now, again, it comes in in a certain kind of way, um, and it repeats itself. Um, so we could come on in and edit it if we would like and change this around a little bit more. So let's say that, you know, as I come on into this box, what about if I want to see more of this in here? Um, cause you'll see again that what illustrator will do is this little one that we drew, it will repeat it. So there it is repeating it over there. Um, so what I could do here is <clears throat> I could come on in if I wanted to change the way that it appears within this shape, I could click on to here and I could select the scale tool, double click on the scale tool. And what I want to say is I want to transform my pattern. I'm going to undo transform object, and I am going to, let's change this to 50 and 250. So then you're seeing, you see more of it in here. Okay. Um, I think that probably makes sense. Let's take a look at it one more time. We could make it, you know, so you see 200%. Let's see what this looks like. Preview is really awesome because then you can see what's going on. And that's probably what it was at. Let's, well, actually, it was at 100%. But I think you get the idea. Um, about how you could then change how it is that you see inside there, it, what you see inside of um, your object. Now, again, I could also come on in here and come to my patterns option. And if I double click this, I can see that this is actually how it is appearing. So what happens is, is when one doesn't fit in it perfectly, um, it will start to draw the other ones next to it. But what you could do is you could change it around so it goes brick by row, um, brick by column, right? You can cha change things around a little bit, um, hex by column, so they move around and they appear a little bit differently. I could hit save copy, it's another new pattern. And again, it's all how it appears. I would say to you, hey, you know, experiment, have fun in here and uh, see what you can come up with. This is the new one I just created. Let's take a look and up oh, and see how this appears differently inside this box, okay? And again, if I wanted to change how it appears in there, I wanna see more of it, I could come on in to the scale. I'm gonna change this to 50%, always having preview on here. I'm gonna change this one to 50%. Now I can see more of it within this shape. I'll leave you with that. That's Pattern. Thanks for listening.